everyone! I have a everyday makeup tutorial um, for you. This is usually what I do with my makeup if I'm not doing anything special. Um, it's just a quick neutral eye and some simple makeup, but I still think it looks really pretty. This is usually what I do for school. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I guess we can just get started. First I'm going to take my um, Murad Oil Control Mattifier and just put this on my T-zone. So just on my nose, just on the bridge of it, and then right up here. Then I'm going to use my Boing Concealer by Benefit. And I'm just going to put this under my eyes. and in some troubled areas. And I found using my finger works better than a brush even though it's kind of gross, but my finger blends it out better. And make sure you really blend out this concealer because it gets kind of cakey if you don't. Then I'm going to take my CoverGirl Natural X Foundation. I kind of fell back in love with this product. Um, I was using a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, but this just gives me more coverage and it's more my shade right now because my Tinted moisture tinted Moisturizer is a little dark for me right now. So I'm just going to put this on different places on my face. And I'm just going to rub it all in. Sometimes I use a stippling brush when I do this, but sometimes I don't. Alright, now while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to do my eyes just because then I can cover up the fallout with some of my other foundation. So, I'm just going to do a simple, like, neutral eye tutorial and I'm going to use my Naked palette. And I'm sure you've probably seen a million tutorials on these, but um, why not have another, right? I haven't done one before. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Primer Potion, prime my eyelids. Then I'm going to make sure I get um, the little corner of my eye and then a little bit underneath because I like to continue my shadow underneath um, instead of having eyeliner. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Alright. Then I'm going to use a base and I'm going to use Benefit's Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in RSVP. Just a pretty shimmery champagne color. I've talked about this before. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to put this all on my eyelid. I'm going to move my mirror so I can see. Then I'm going to do the other eye. And then because in my crease I'm going to do um, a darker brown, I'm going to use this Maybelline 24 hour tattoo eyeshadow in Bad to the Bronze. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so I'm going to use this and just put it in my crease. And don't worry about it being like kind of sloppy because we'll blend it out. Cream matte shadows are kind of hard to blend, so we're going to have to pack it with powder eyeshadow, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So this is what it looks like right now. Maybe I should zoom in for you guys. Um, now while I let those dry, I'm going to finish off my face, I think. So now I'm going to take MAC Studio Fix Powder and a powder brush. I know, right? First brush of the tutorial. And I'm just going to do a quick sweep over my face. So I'm just going to go this way, kind of make a three. And make a three on this side. And then the bridge of my nose. 
then we're going to blend it all out. And make sure you kind of go down your neck so you don't have like a different colored face than a neck. Then I'm going to take my MSF Natural, and this is in Medium Plus. And I'm just going to do another quick sweep over this. This is kind of a more lighter powder. Ah, my camera. Okay. Then I'm going to take this MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. It's just a light pink color. And an e.l.f. blush brush. I'm just kind of blocky put it on my face so like it doesn't, if that makes sense, it doesn't look very good right now but I'm gonna blend it out so I look like a doll right now but that's okay where's my powder brush here it is, okay my elf powder brush and I'm gonna blend this out And it doesn't look very blended on camera, but it is in real life, I swear. Now, I'm going to finish off my eyes. And I'm going to take my Naked palette. And I'm going to use Sin. Which is right here, the second color. It's just a shimmery champagne color. It looks like Benefit's RSVP in powdered eyeshadow form. And I'm just going to put this in the first part of my eye and in my crease, or not my crease, my um, tear duct, sorry. Then I'm going to do it to the other side. And then just with a little angled brush I'm going to fix my tear duct. And it actually doesn't look that bad right now. It looks pretty blended out. But I'm going to add a little bit more darker color to my crease just because I want to make it a little more dramatic. So I think I'm going to take... Hmm, which one? Um, sometimes I do sidecar and sometimes I do smog. I think I'm going to do sidecar today. So it's the first... this one right here. And... I'm going to add that to my crease. And do the other side. Then I'm going to blend it out in small circular motions. And there we have it. That's the eyeshadow look, but I'm going to continue and bring um, smog with just this little pointed brush. And I'm going to bring it underneath, or no, not smog, sidecar. I'm going to bring it underneath my eyelid. Just because I like to use eyeshadow instead of eyeliner. It's less harsh on your face. And I'm going to fix my eyebrows with my e.l.f. eyebrow gel, just so they stay in place. I need to get a new one of these, it's getting gross. <clears throat> then I'm going to add some eyeliner on the top. This is L'Oreal's Linear Intense. It's my favorite liquid liner. I'm not very good at doing this on camera, so if I go out of the frame, I'm sorry. So sorry about that, but um, that is with eyeliner. And if you want, you can add eyeliner to the waterline. But I don't think I'm going to do that just because I don't really need to right now. Um, then while I wait for my eyeliner to dry, my 
camera is acting real stupid. I'm going to add some lipstick. This is um, Rimmel's lipstick from the Kate Moss collection, and this is an 08. This is my favorite lipstick right now. Just kind of a pretty nude. Oh, dang it. My favorite Bare Minerals gloss that I usually use is in my purse downstairs. So I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use Bare Minerals Cupcake. So all that is left now is to curl my lashes. And I'm going to take Sephora's Lash Plumping Mascara. Just apply this to the top and bottom. I really like this mascara because it comes off in the shower easy. Like, I don't have to scrub and lose a bunch of eyelashes. It just comes off in the water. So, obviously, I wouldn't wear this to, like, a water park or to, like, a swimming pool. But it's nice for every day because I don't have to fight to take off my makeup. And I'm going to do the other eye. Then I'm going to add a coat of Buxom's um, mascara. So that is the finished eye look and my makeup look. This is usually what I do every single day. Unless I'm doing like a special color or something. So. That's just a cute neutral eye tutorial. And if you guys have any questions let me know. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.